Hello, this is Toph from Trifocal Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you an even faster way to import images into Blender. This is just a very, very simple technique. And it's one of those techniques that, you know, you kind of wish you had known a while back because that would have saved a lot of time. Uh, prior to this technique, the way you would import an image into Blender would be you know, File, Import, Images, and you'd have to make sure that's that add-on was activated in the user preference but I just found out there's a much faster way to do this and once again you feel like kicking yourself in the butts for not knowing this before but let's open up an image I'm gonna do this just simply left click and drag and let go and there it is it's just that simple I knew you could do this in the uh, UV image editor you can just turn this to, let me see, UV editor, then drag an image into that. I know you could do it like that, but I never knew you could do it into the 3D space itself. So this would have, this saves a lot of time, just in general, saves a lot of clicking around. But once again, we're going to test it to see how legit it is, how, how accurate it is by dragging and dropping an image that has a transparent background into it and see if it accepts that. So I'm going to scroll down into my menu again, my file here, where I have some images that have transparent backgrounds. Let me just make sure it's got to be a PNG image, and there's one. And once again, this is a real test. If it, if you can drag and drop an image with a transparent background, that means it's legit. So here we go. Let's click and drag. And there that is also. So yeah, this is a very, very fast way, the fastest if not the fastest way to import an image into Blender very simply and very easily. And that was today's user quick tip. Very quick, very short, very much to the point. And thank you guys for watching the video and those who will watch in the future. Thank you guys who have subscribed and who are, who are subscribing now. And those who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate, appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.